Okay, hi everyone. Um, my name is Darren Rex, and uh, my wife Samantha and I have been kind of playing around with some ideas on how we could, you know, uh, when we started this journey with Kenner, it was how do we actually siphon it out and get a little bit more bang for our buck. Um, as you know, Kenner is extremely expensive. It's like three thousand plus dollars. Um, where we come from in South Africa, it's 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 even more. I mean, with the exchange rate, it's it's quite tough. Uh, we imported ourselves and. Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, and I, I know a lot of you have gone through that as well. So let me just quickly show you what we do. Um, we currently using about 0.25 uh, mils a month, and so what we do is we get about three syringes, uh, insulin syringes, which I'm about to show you, in from one uh, Kinneret syringe. Okay, so let me just show you what I use here. Uh, just over here, we've got the Kinneret box. Um, I've just put one syringe out at the moment. The rest of them are still stuck in the box. I've used one of my old trays to actually line up the three syringes as well. Now over here I use insulin insulin syringes uh, which are tiny little 0.3 I don't know if you can get a zoom in on that it's the BD insulin syringes now you get the 0.3 syringe uh, sorry needle which is a lot smaller if you can see it against there okay we uh, we once used the 0.5 and that's a bit long uh, our little one's two, Brooklyn's two years old um, we saw this when she just just after she had turned probably one and a half. So yeah, we, we kind of had to work around a couple of different scenarios, as I'm sure most of you have. So what the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to clean up uh, your whole work area. Okay, you want it to be as sterile as possible. Um, whatever disinfectants you have in your home, wipe up. Get some sterile gloves. Uh, these aren't the sterile ones. I have to admit right now, um, I could only find these, but what you want to get is perhaps like a surgical pair which actually open up uh, there's no powder in them or anything like that uh, nothing that's going to get in the way of the actual kinneret uh, you want to use a face mask okay uh, I've had some flu in the last two weeks so definitely trying to put a face mask on every time I start to do this I do it every three days okay so I don't I use one syringe uh, I prepare one out of one syringe I don't go any more than that okay so let me just show you here take the, the caps off of the insulin syringes. Uh, like I said, if you get the uh, sterile gloves and they're independent of each other, uh, you can actually roll it on the paper itself. So it's all sterile already. You, put, you can actually work on that. That's that's really a nice option. I don't have that with me right now though. So let me just go ahead here quickly and I'll show you um, how I extract the kinerate into three different syringes. Okay, if you're on uh, 0.30, you're probably going to get two, two and a bit. Uh, you, I know a lot of you have read a lot of your comments. You don't want to keep the stuff for too long, but you could possibly go up to five days on taking maybe two syringes out and, and keeping the last one. It's really up to you. Uh, I know doctors can't tell us that we can do this. Uh, the pharmaceutical companies are definitely not going to tell us we can do this. But um, as a parent, this is how we've been using it, and it's been working really good for Brooklyn. So here we go. Let me show you. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing I want to do is um, you know obviously keep your fingers as far away from any of the edges that uh, I'm sure you all heard that <laughs> okay so I'm gonna put that there for now I'm not going to close up the syringe tonight okay all right so a little needle put into the back here and for us we're going to extract 2.5 I wish I could just show you yeah, just really did real slow. Okay, going very slow. You got to concentrate on it, but that's okay. Um, I don't know if any of you can see. I've actually got a big air bubble in it um, because I'm talking on the camera. <laughs> a little sidetracked here, but uh, usually I filter the air out first, and it's. It works a lot better that way. Okay, so that's one syringe. I zip it straight back in its lid. Okay, it's probably going to get a bit of an air bubble there, so I'm going to have to deal with that. Sorry, I actually put that in there. Okay, take this off again. Let's open it up, loosen it up as well because sometimes it gets a bit tight. Okay, so here we go. Sometimes you've got to get to an angle where you can actually see the liquid inside. 
where your needle's got to go is like right into, you know, try and get as much of a sort of a, a bigger level right up front or the back end of the syringe, shall I say. Okay, 0.25. And then, look, my last one, I don't always get the 0.25. Uh, <laughs> I said a little prayer once. I said, oh, God, please give me more than 2, two 4, 2, 3. <laughs> and I actually have a photo. I've got 2.27 from that little uh, prayer. That's quite funny. I had a little chuckle to myself. So this is the last one. And here we go, the last bit of kinrate in the syringe. Okay, so what you'll see here is I've only got about 0.20 on this one, and that's because in that first one I did, and this is the first one I've actually done this mistake. Uh, in that first one, I uh, had that air bubble in front, so I probably took a little bit too much in that first one. Uh, this week we're going to have two days of perfect, and the third day we're not going to have so perfect. So, yeah, what I'll do with this is obviously I'll there was a little left in the bottom there. It's not good. It's not good. Okay, so you want to watch your dosages and stuff like that. Make sure you get rid of the needles properly, however you do that, dispose them properly. Uh, I'm going to put it there for now. This is going to go straight back in the fridge. Um, <laughs> good luck to you. If you have any questions, send me an email or pop me a post on Facebook here. Um, I'll try and let you know how, you know, else if you want me to shoot another video, maybe uh, something a little bit shorter to get to the point. I can do it for you as well, but um, hopefully this works for some of you because it is expensive. I know some of you run out of it. Um, it's, it's really tough. It, you know, our little ones, to see them suffer so much is, is really difficult. So if I can help you in any way, or if any of you have any advice for me as well, I'm always open to hearing what other advice is out there. So uh, good luck. Uh, let me know if I can help anymore. Okay, cheers. Bye.